Okay, on this one we're reading the chart. Um, this chart represents the number of living wage jobs in Rochester per 1,000 working age adults over this five year period. We wanna figure out what is the average rate of change in the number of living wage jobs from, first of all, 1997 to 1999. So reading our chart here, I'm gonna be looking at 1997 and 1999 are the ones we care about. Now average rate of change is equivalent to finding the slope of a line. Let's use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 as we do this. As I get going on these, what I like to do is set them up as ordered pairs to begin with. We have an input value of 1997, goes along with an output of jobs, 640. And a second order of pair we can say is we cared about 1999, went along with 705 jobs. So inputs and outputs, treat them like ordered pairs as we go through this. I'm going to go with Y2, I'm going to start with 705 minus Y1, 640, over 1999 minus 1997. So as we do this calculation, I definitely get a 2 in the denominator, 65 in the numerator, um, which works out to be 32.5. And our units here, the Y values in our case were jobs, and the X value were years, so jobs per year. All right, we're going to do something very similar, but this time we're looking at 1999 and 2001. So 1999 and 2001, Again, treat them as though they're ordered pairs, 1999 comma 705, and then 2001 comma 745. Average rate of change, again, filling into that slope formula, I'm going to go 745 minus 705 over 2001 minus 1999. This one works out to be 40 divided by 2 which would be equivalent to 20, again, jobs per year. So it looks like it's declined over the years, um, the number of jobs per year um, available for working age adults. All right, hope, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working on these. I really encourage you to write them as ordered pairs, pull out that slope formula whenever those keywords average rate or average rate of change show up. Good luck.